Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Traveling Taylor here. This week, I am going to give you a little behind the scenes into one of my new favorite tools, which is Publer. It is a social media scheduling tool, short for Publisher. Makes sense. It's new to the market, may not have ever heard about it before, um, which is why I wanted to let you know about it um, and just give you a different option in the world of social media scheduling. So here we go. Okay, here we are. We are in my personal Publer account. So you can see right here, we are on the accounts tab. This is what it looks like. Um, I currently have my two Facebook groups and my Facebook page and Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter all connected. You can see over here the different accounts that you can do. And if we were to go to add an account, you can see all of the options. So depending on what you have, um, Instagram is brand new. You can use with Zapier that released within the last month. Same thing with Pinterest. You can use it via Zapier and YouTube is coming soon. I'm kind of interested in that because I schedule all my YouTube videos via YouTube. So just had to see what that is all about. And Pinterest, as you know, I prefer to use Tailwind. It is a, a native integration with Pinterest, so I will continue to use Tailwind for that. Um, but for now, my Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn are all through Publer. And so far, it's been working pretty good. So I don't need to add any new accounts. Um, the other thing that you can do from this accounts tab is, say, Instagram here. You have some additional settings that you can set. Um, so you can decide on a posting schedule. Um, you can actually create your own auto schedule. So for example, we wanted to do 8 a.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays only. Post type any or photo because it's Instagram, it's not gonna be photo, but um, in like Facebook or something, you could say if it's a video, we post it in the afternoon, and if it's a photo, we post it in the morning. So that's what post type means. Um, and so you could actually set that up ahead of time and say, you know, these types of posts only get posted at this time. So that's actually a pretty cool feature of Publer that I haven't seen in other tools. Um, I guess I don't have any. <laughs> any preferences at the moment. So we'll just leave that. You can also upload a logo um, and put it as a watermark on all of your items. And then I can show you how you're, you can add that watermark. But once you upload it to the picture, you can actually change the opacity and the location of it on your, so make sure that it works with the photo that you've uploaded. You can create a signature. So if you have something that you always end with, um, you can go ahead and create a signature for that. Or if you um, have a business and you're always guiding people to your, you know, to email you or visit your website or you have an address or a phone number, whatever it is, you can actually just go ahead and create your signature and put that at the end of every post as well. You can um, decide on your link shortener. So whichever one you use, I personally use Bitly, but if you want to use a different one, you can. Or if you don't want to shorten, uh, you don't have to. So you get that choice. You can also turn on Google Analytics. And then with short codes, you can create a short code. So say uh, in, what is this, Instagram, if I type in, well, I guess you could do hashtags, but say I wanted to put my website in there, I would do like that. Uh, I have to remove these and save it. Um, but anytime I typed in website, it would just do that short code for me. So I don't have to type it out and potentially spell it wrong as we know happens sometimes on our phones, especially. So those are some of the additional settings that you can do per account, which I think is a pretty cool actually. Um, but let's go ahead and see how we create a post. So right here to create, honestly, this, the, the layout and everything is really user friendly. I haven't had any issues figuring out where to find stuff. It's been really intuitive and been really great. So right now I need to schedule a post that's going to go on Instagram and my Facebook page. So you can always see the accounts right here. Um, I already have my photo picked out. 
so this is a picture of Wellington and I'm actually going to add a two pictures. So what you'll see here is that you'll get this little, you know, caution. Um, and what it's saying is that only the first photo will be published on Instagram. So for the Insta, for the Zapier, oh, wrong photo. Um, for Zapier, it will only post the first one, but for Facebook and other platforms, it will post, there we go. It will actually post the, um, it will post both of the photos on Facebook. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little distracted. Okay, right now I don't want to separate those out. So I can put them back together because I want them to have the same caption. So for Wellington, and they have this new hashtag feature. So we'll suggest them. Yep, <laughs> yep, Wellington, New Zealand, great. Um, and that's actually a travel photo challenge. You can also tag people and it will make them blue as well. So say I did want to separate them out for some reason, you can easily, as I already showed you, edit them individually. Now, you can also add a location. So, say, that picture was taken in Wellington. So that's the media options signature. So if you wanted to add in your, which we already saw I didn't have any created, but that is how you add it. And you could, you know, if you had multiple signatures, you could pick which one right there, super easy. Auto share. Follow up comment. This one is actually really interesting. So sometimes in your post, you might want to follow up with a comment. Say you asked a question and you'll say, I'll go first, you know, check the comments below. You can actually have your comment follow up as well. So you could do it comment right away with something. Or if you wanted to kind of, you know, give it a little boost um, five minutes after you post it, you could actually change the time as well. So that is a cool feature that I don't know who else really has that. Yeah, so auto share is just automatically sharing your post to other accounts if you wanted to. Auto delete, um, delay between accounts. So this one is actually a really good feature as well. So say you have multiple Facebook accounts or pages that you manage and say there's a sale going on. So you kind of need to send out the same things, but you don't want to spam Facebook all at the same time. So you can actually set a delay um, for up to up to two weeks. But if you wanted to say in a delay for say, you know, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, something like that, you could do that between your accounts as well. So really great features, really easy. Um, you can also preview. So for Facebook, this is what it will look like on desktop. This is what it will look like on mobile. And then Instagram, that is what it will look like there. So that all looks fine. Okay, and so now we are going to go schedule. So you have a few options in scheduling too. So this is manual, the manual page. But if you go down here to change mode, you can see you have auto schedule, which will follow uh, if you already previously set up your schedules for each different type of account, just click on auto schedule and it'll pick the time slot that's best for you, or it'll pick the time slot that you identified you wanted it to be posted. You can recycle a post or you can do a reoccurring post. So the difference here is that recycling, um, it will just repurpose your content at the next available time slot based on your auto schedule. Reoccurring, you can use if you want something posted at the same time. So for example, in my one of my Facebook groups, I like to post on Monday mornings, like a Monday manifest, set your intention for the week type post. So that always goes out Monday mornings at 9 a.m. So in that case, I've used the reoccurring scheduling. For this one, I needed to go out on the 28th. That is the day for W. And I can say I want it to go out well, we'll just keep it at PM and maybe I'll do it at three o'clock or something. Okay, and then I will go ahead and schedule that and it'll schedule for both Instagram and Facebook. Great, successfully scheduled. 
Wonderful. Um, so the other thing is down here, you can do bulk uploads. You can upload a CSV file if you have one or even through RSS feeds. So um, if you were to do bulk, bulk upload like this, you can do from links, drag and drop your media. You can use file names as captions and there's a limit on the size of videos. It works pretty much the same <laughs> as uh, scheduling a post, except you'll just have multiples um, of these boxes right here and you can you know, put in text for each one and do your scheduling the same. Now we can also go look at our post. So I currently have mine in a calendar view. Um, you can also change this to be list view, just like that. Um, so tomorrow I have my Scotland post going out on Facebook. You can see I have three photos there. And then on Instagram, it just has the one. Um, you can up here, it'll show you posted, failed. So if you have any failed posts for any reason, um, you can see those right away drafts, recycling, and recurring. So you can kind of break it down a little bit further. You can also identify just by account. So if I clicked on Instagram, I would just see my Instagram post that I have going out. And then of course you can do analytics. So you can change this up here from seven days to week, last week, this month. I wanted to see my whole month. Um, so any, you know, serious social media people out there and you want to be on top of your analytics, which is really important, you can check that out here and see, yeah, see all about it, post insights, reach, engagement, and things of the like. So my personal feeling um, about Publer, I've been using it for two months and there's still features I showed you that I haven't even really started using or incorporating yet. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's been really great so far. Um, so if you're looking for a new social media scheduling tool that can do a lot for you, and if you have a lot of different accounts on different platforms, as you can see, I do as well, then I highly recommend it. Okay, so I real quick just want to jump in here to the plans and pricing options for Publer as well. So this is as of July 2020. So these could obviously change in the future, but there is a few things that I do want to point out. So right now we're just looking at the monthly pricing. They do have a free option for five social accounts. 50 pending or scheduled posts, 25 saved drafts, and 24 hours of post history. So that is pretty good, I think. You can read all the other features that you get as well. Um, but the thing that I think makes them really pretty different is that you can customize this monthly fee based on your number of social accounts and team members. So say for me, I don't have any team members, so I don't I don't need that. We'll make that zero. And I, you know, only need like 10 social accounts. And you can see as I change this button, my price is also changing. So, you know what? I need more than five and I would really like, you know, more than 24 hours of post history. So I'm willing to pay, but you know, this is all I need. I need 10 social accounts. I don't have any team members. And so my price would actually only be $18 a month. And then as your team grows and as your needs grow, then the price can actually grow with you. So even over here for the gold, you can see it moved with it. And that would be um, $32 a month, which is my current plan. I um, purchased a lifetime deal through AppSumo when they were running it through that, which I don't believe is currently running. But keep your eyes on AppSumo because they may run a deal sometime in the future. So I currently have the gold plan for life, which is pretty great. But even if you're not able to get that and you're interested in just testing it out on your own and at a pretty affordable price for whatever your needs are. Yeah, I think it's pretty great. I think uh, I now showed you how easy it was to use and all the different features you get and the fact that you can really customize this and then you can obviously save if you want to purchase um, yeah, three months, six months or annually, you can see what your cost would be. So I really like that feature about them as well. So that was my review of Publer. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Be sure to subscribe. And if you would like to see any more tool reviews, just let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to check them out. So subscribe and I will see you next week.